One of the things that has impressed me about you, Jake, is your ability to find those little pockets of this country that need professional soccer. And for someone like myself, where my father played in the NASL, there's still some markets out there. You know, I look at the Baltimore's, the Cleveland's, the Milwaukee's of the world. It seems like you guys are still picking the right markets. Are any of those on the radar coming soon? And if so, what are they? Yeah, you got some great sources there. Yeah, they're all on the radar. You know, we're in, we're in active conversations with those uh, three cities you mentioned. Great communities will be hugely uh, popular additions to the USL. Um, you know, we're actually uh, looking to um, finalize a deal at the moment to bring uh, teams to Monterey, California. Um, like you said, perhaps a, uh, you know, it would, wasn't the first choice when you think about professional soccer. Um, there really are passionate soccer fans in and around that region of California um, that don't have access to their own team. Um, and so, and there's also a fantastic golf course. I know you like to swing the clubs a bit. Well, Maybe that's the only reason why I'm going to get out there. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. There's some great communities. Um, look at the success stories in the USL when you think of some of the cities that were in um, El Paso and Louisville, Kentucky, and the list goes on, you know. So we've got some more expansion to come into the championship before it closes off, and it, and it will close off soon. Um, so we're trying to get those uh, communities to get their business plans or stadium plans together. Um, to join and, and really League One is our focus. We've got 12 clubs in League One uh, and um, you know we've got about 50, uh, can you imagine that, 50 communities that are on the list uh, thinking about League One and we're actually in active negotiations with 15 different communities uh, to come wow. into League One. So our plan really was to use this summer as a bit of a showcase and, and, and celebration of, of those markets with all these expansion announcements for League One but really it's not appropriate to be doing that as we navigate through this first and foremost, but the league one fans will have a lot to cheer about. Um, we've got, we've got up to five expansion annou announcements uh, towards the end of this year to look forward to in league one. So there's a real appetite for soccer. And um, as you know, that first touch point with the game is critical. And yeah. if you don't have it in your local community, it's for, it, you know, we'll lose, we'll lose, executives will lose players will lose people so that's what the mission is bring bring those uh, local community teams uh, around the country well, well in this country in this landscape is so big it's all about connecting the dots no matter what level you're at and having that touch with professional soccer i do know a former national team teammate of mine jamarcus beasley he's looking at fort wayne he hopes to bring a league one franchise there i want to move this conversation to the academy jake because I think the USL has a wonderful opportunity to fill in some big gaps where U.S. soccer has not done a good enough job in, in supplying that. Are you guys capable of doing that? Well, as you and I have spoke before, um, you know, the, the, the pro teams uh, have a responsibility to play in, in this uh, space and uh, identifying talent and providing pathways forward uh, and, and getting them to, uh, to the top level. Now, the USL has 129 clubs between the Championship, League One, and League Two. And we've tried to identify a platform where we can have a youth infrastructure uh, affiliated with each one of those clubs. And we started uh, this last year in earnest with our Academy Cup series with two events uh, last year in San Antonio and Tampa. And our intent was always to expand that into an Academy League format and uh, thrilled to be able to announce here on this show that that's exactly what we're doing and we're going to start that uh, in the spring of 2021 and the new usl academy league will mirror the pro calendar and it's going to run from march uh, through november but uh, with some noticeable changes you know so our our approach here is take advantage of the footprint we have uh, regionalize this as much as we can to reduce the cost and, and travel implications for the players um, focus on a single team uh, for our clubs to make that um, uh, get, make it the most uh, bang for the buck if you like but we focused on a u15 to u19 select team with the idea that if you're good enough you're old enough um, and that we want to connect the pro teams in our market with all the youth clubs in our market and work collaboratively together to give those top players a platform to really showcase because as you know we've just not had a very good scouting system in this country so we're losing a lot of talent and I think the next Christian Pulisic may well be uh, coming out of a USL Academy or in one of the USL markets and we need the infrastructure in place. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.